because uh, they're free. <laughs> it's a joke. I suppose my relationship with Arai came about because uh, when I was, I was a little kid, I, I grew up in the film industry. My father's a film director and he directed films like Deliverance and Excalibur and Hope and Glory and all sorts of movies. And, 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 um, and as children, we were always thrown into his, to his movie because we were free, free. And he didn't have to pay for kids because he was cheap. And, and, um, and, and we, we had this amazing life. So, so, so every couple of years or so, we'd go off somewhere around the world to, to make a movie that dad was doing in the South Pacific or South Carolina or Brazil or wherever it was. And then when, when dad wasn't making a movie, we were living in Ireland in, 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 the, in the Wicklow Mountains in the middle of nowhere. And, and, um, uh, and there was a guy called Tommy Rochford who, who lived in the village and, and my dad was into horses and we kind of were riding horses a bit. And this guy, Tommy Rochford had a, had a, I kept hearing this two stroke engine and, um, and eventually I, I kind of found Tommy and Tommy had this Mako 500, which was this, no 400, which was this big, it was the absolute bike to have in those days. And, um, and I convinced him to, to give me a go. And he put this, this helmet on that, that didn't really fit because I was, only seven years old, and, and I couldn't quite fit the pegs of the of the bike. And he put this helmet on, and, and, and I rode round the field in first gear, and then fell off, and, and bumped my head on a four hundred. Uh, on a 400. And and you know, I, I didn't know what I was doing, but 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 that helmet was an Arai. And um, and and I don't know if it's if it's if you if you become brand um, uh, uh, loyal or, or whatever it was, but. But, but, you know, the first helmet I, I got was an Arai because he had an Arai. And then, and then over the years, I tried different helmets, but I always kind of went back to, to an Arai. And then when, um, a number of years ago, when, when you and I did Long Way Round together, where we went from London to New York on motorbikes around the world, um, going east via Kazakhstan and Mongolia and Siberia and stuff, we, um, uh, we got involved and, and got, um, got some Arais in the Turex. Is really is the, is the uh, is probably the, I, w I would say is the best kind of helmet in, for that style um, out of all the the other helmet manufacturers. You know, Arai is the is the one. I think um, growing up in the countryside, it was all about riding off road, and so I think one of my first loves is enduro riding. So, which is you know different to 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 motocross, which is sort of short circuit, I suppose. Whereas enduro is about you know long distance and riding, riding out on the in the in the mountains, which is what I did when I was a kid. And and then um, when I when I first started riding motorbikes on on the road, I think as you, as a young guy you 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 it's all about speed and, and and stuff. So then I was obsessed by by sports bikes, and so for years I I, I did um, I used to ride sports bikes, and then and then um, I, I ran a motorbike race team with you and McGregor. We, we did the British Superstock with David Jeffries and Matt Llewellyn, and we, we came first and second uh, in the championship. Hmm? What was it called? Uh, it, was, well, it was called Pace3.com, which, is, which oh. is one, was one, yeah. And we always said, when we had, had the signings, you know, it, it, was always a, it was always the British Superbike guys that had the longest queues, but, but with David Jeffries and Matt Llewellyn and the Pace3 girls, they, they, ours was always the longest queue. But, um, and it was with, with a girl called Claire Ritchie, and, um, and she kind of really ran the team, really, and and you and I just sort of messed around, and and um, uh, and so I did that for years, and obsessed by track days, I did hundreds of track days, and uh, and then um, and then and then when I, and you and was involved in that, and then you and I started doing lots of um, you know uh, we would do track days together, we or we'd ride off for a long weekend or something, spend a couple of nights in the Brecon Beacons or something, running bikes or whatever it was. And then, and then it was when you and I started thinking about doing Long Way Round um, that is, is that we sort of started getting into the more kind of sort of um, that more adventure kind of bike, which, which does a bit of everything. Mm -hmm. and, and, um, uh, and that's sort of how, we, how, how it went. But, but even now, you know, it's interesting people, it's interesting with, with, with people who, who ride motorbikes because, you know, you, you can almost categorize sometimes people who ride bikes, they're, they're sports bike riders and they're probably sports bike riders all their lives or they're, they're dirt bike riders and they're just dirt bike riders or they're custom riders and Harleys and, you know, that kind of thing, or they're hipsters. And, and for me, uh, it, it's, 
it's much more about, I, I want to do all of it. You know, I, I want to, on a weekend, I want to go and ride dirt bikes with my mates. I, I want to, you know, if I'm, if I'm just tootling around London, because I live in London and I'm going up to meetings in Soho or doing whatever it is that, that I have to do, I, I ride a Triumph T120 that I've, that I've customized and chopped up and put a big fat tire in the front and got some TKC80 knobbly tires on it. And, and I kind of, kind of cruise around London with that because you don't need anything particularly fast in London. And then, um, and then you know, I've, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a Tiger Tiger 800 um, as well, which which I use for a bit longer distances and stuff. And the great thing about these modern bikes now, and and, and I understand why 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 that adventure market is so big, um, especially you know for the Tour X and, and and stuff like that, is because because the, especially nowadays you you know you get these you get these adventure bikes like the Thruxton, um, the sorry the uh, the Tiger 800 or the 1200 or the the GS or the multi-strider whatever it is you know these bikes can do everything yeah. so whereas before they couldn't quite do everything now you know you, you you can sit on a motorway you can go up into country twisty roads and, and you can absolutely have the most amazing times and you know a sports bike rider would will, will struggle to yeah. to to keep up with these new bikes and then you can just turn off on the dirt road and you can you can sit like i do i take a bunch of people through africa on a motorcycle tour once a year and we do 16 days off road on these big trail bikes and it's, and you know you'd be riding all day two days off road and then suddenly you jump up onto a tarmac and you're on the twisties or whatever and, and so nowadays it's 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 a bit of everything i don't know i mean i think i think you and i've always um spoken about doing a third one and and it, it would be long way up would be the the one so sort of south america up oh, to north america so yes, get to Scotland, get to Scotland that'd be <laughs> it. Yeah, or I suppose you could take a boat to Iceland and, Iceland, and, and yeah. stuff like that. But but you no, know, so so I I mean that would be the that would be the kind of the one. And 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 you know we've we've spoken about it quite a lot. We've spoken about it quite a lot recently actually. And so I don't know. I th I think um, I I'd love to do another one. Um, I think we just. Well, there's always. <laughs> Yeah, there's always something to do. There's always something. But um, I'd like to go and do the Dakar Rally again, is what I'd like to do. I, I did the Dakar Rally in 2006 and, and, and um, spent a year and a half training and, and, and managed to, I only managed five days and, and then crashed and broke my hands. And, and um, uh, so, so but, but there's always something that, that, that needs to be done. But I think, I think Long Way Up would, is, is a definite possibility with with you and I, and um, uh, of course we'll be, you know, using our helmets again, of course. <laughs>